Hey guys, it's Sydney here. Um, this video is actually kind of a rant. You guys are going to get really bored and I really, really will understand if you don't want to watch this. Um, yesterday I got bored in work so I started drawing over my legs because, like an idiot, I forgot my sketchbook. Um, and I posted a picture on Instagram and somebody decided to have a bit of a go and they were like, why have you wrote Carrie Kaysen's name on your leg? And I was like, well, one, because I was bored, so I was just writing anything on my leg. Um, I said, and two, Carrie Kaysen is my lifeline. She's my reason to live. And they were like, have you even met her? Does she even know who you are? And I was like, no, I haven't met her. Not yet, but I will do one day. And I was like, no, she probably doesn't know who I am, but you know, she likes a lot of my statuses on Facebook, so she obviously has an idea who I am. And they were like, oh my God, you know, like she's gonna get you done for being a stalker and all of this lot. And I was like, well, not really, because I'm just writing her name on my leg. You know, admittedly, if I was like trying to find out where she lived and, you know, things like that, then yeah, by all means, get a restraining order against me because that is really stalkerish you know, but I just had her name written on my leg in pen, you know, and it's actually washed off now. I did have a shower, ironically, but it just, it really hurt me because like this person was having a go at me. They don't even know me, you know, and Carrie's my inspiration to live. Like I said, she's my lifeline. She is my happiness in the world. It sounds really stupid. This person I've never even met, you know, that just think, that probably just thinks, oh, she's just another fan, you know. Carrie's my lifeline. Carrie makes me happy, you know. I wake up in the morning and if Carrie's like the status of mine, you know, or a stupid little picture that I've put on Facebook and tagged her in it, you know, and she likes it and I'm like, oh, you know, I do. I must admit, I do fangirl quite a lot, you know. And I'm like, oh my gosh, Carrie's like my status or Carrie's like my Facebook and... You know, a lot of people are like, yeah, okay, you're weird. And I'm like, you guys don't get it. You know, I have depression, so it's quite hard for me to find happiness in the world. Um, I'm not self-diagnosed before anybody jumps to conclusions and they're like, oh, you're just self-diagnosing. Depression's like a fashion statement as what it has become lately. Um, ironically, my doctor doesn't think that I'm just using it as a fashion statement, hence the antidepressants and hence why my dosage is going up tomorrow. Um, but yeah, so people who have depression in the world and they kind of understand the loneliness, they understand how hard it is to find happiness, to find how, like, where you can find the happiness. Um, so it's really good that, like, for me, that I have found this happiness, even if it's just over the internet, you know, don't get me wrong, one day I would love to meet Kerry and be like, you know, just thank you for being you. Um, and I'd love to give her a hug, you know, and I've turned and wrote to her plenty of times and said to her, when you're in England, you know, let me know and I'll meet you and go for coffee. You know, coffee's on me. And it would just be nice to sit down and just talk to her and be like, hey, you know, you have no idea how much you inspire me you know, you keep me alive, you keep me on the right track, just like listening to her on Sixth Sense with Nikki, you know, it makes me want to do be on radio so much more than what I had planned like years ago, so it's just, it's one of those things, like it really gets me down when people, they call me a freak and stuff and they don't actually know me, I mean, I know I don't look the most normal person, you know, I have an odd haircut, you know, my hair at the moment looks black and red, it's actually dark blue and red, I'm getting hair dyed today so it's going to be bright blue and bright red. I have piercings, I have tattoos, my fashion isn't the normal chavvy fashion that is normally worn by people, you know. I'm the sort of person that will stand there in the dead of winter when it's freezing cold in shorts. But it's just, you know, I know I'm not normal. But 
for people to call me weird and to tell me that somebody's going to get a restraining order put against me because I'm acting stalkerish because I wrote their name on my leg kind of gets me down and like so many people then under don't understand why I'm not happy um but yeah I am actually going to get Kerry's name tattooed on me because all my tattoos have meanings you know they each are personal to me um and I feel that Kerry needs her place on me um I'm actually getting Kerry's name written in Arabic and I'm going to get my name in Arabic and actually have them put together um yes sounds pathetic I know like so many people will probably watch this and judge me and I hope Carrie gets to watch this and she will probably think that I'm crazy as well and a complete freak and trust me everybody does so it's not going to be something new but Carrie deserves her special place you know Nikki Nikki Six already has his um, I'm actually getting Nikki and Courtney's name underneath Nikki's portrait so they'll have their special place and Carrie will have her special place too. So I don't want people to judge me and I for sure as hell don't want Carrie to judge me. But Carrie's my lifeline and that's how it's always going to be. That's how it has been for as long as I can remember. So if... I ever do get a chance to meet Kerry, which I really, really hope so. I will give her the biggest hug ever. I will probably cry because it will just be a complete happy dream come true. And hopefully she will come for coffee with me and be like, and then I get to tell her how much she inspires me. So, yeah, I hope Kerry watches this. And I hope you guys don't think that I'm completely nuts. Because trust me, my psychologist tells me enough that I'm nuts. But I'm off now to go shopping with my mum. And I will see you guys later. Sorry to bore you. Bye.